very happy tea time. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers to you. Welcome. This is our 65th episode of Tea Time with Team Epic Reads, and yeah, it's BEA week. I know. Look, we fancy. We, we both love. have dresses on at the same time. Curtsy. Hello. Curtsy. Hello. <laughs> um, so this is going to be a quick tea time today because we have many a BEA thing to do. BEA, by the way, is Book Expo America. America. It's like... It's, the, the mecca for book nerds. It's like Comic Con, but like less. Mm, different kind of nerd. Nerd, yeah. I mean, they're there. Less dress up, less costumes. Yes, it's more just reading in the corner. Quiet internal screaming. That's what it is. It's Comic Con without the costumes and audible screaming. <laughs> yeah, um, I'm really excited. This is my third BEA. Oh, me too. Me too. And uh, we'll talk about that in just a second, but as always, what are you guys reading this week? Tweet at us. I'm checking in on Twitter with the hashtag time, and I'm over here on YouTube, so come on, it's over here. Um, I uh, have been, like, super busy moving things, so I'm still reading what I was reading last week, because there's just no time to read when it's BEA week. Um, so I'm reading Exquisite Captive by Heather That's Demetrius. So I know. But it's so good. So it's like one of these stories that I'm really glad I'm still reading because it's like I'm stretching it out. You yeah. Know? Well, um, you said the world is really complex. Very complex. But I finally, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm how far I'm into it am I? 320 pages in. I'm finally getting it. Um, but just a quick heads up: the author of Exquisite Captive is doing a Instagram contest, which ends June 30th. I have a little piece of paper here telling me. Yeah, read all of the things. Um, I use the hashtag on Instagram, my three in the number three, my three wishes, and you post a pic of yourself holding a sign that looks like the looks like this one, um, and tag Heather in it that has one of that lists your three wishes, and you tag use that hashtag, my oh no yeah is it three yeah my, my three, three wishes, wishes. Um, and the prize is this couture. Cuff. It's actually the same one that's on the cover. This is not the final cover, but it is the one that's on the final cover. This is beautiful, and I want it. Um, all the information is on darkcaravancycle.com, so go enter to win some things. And the links are below. Um, Exquisite Captive doesn't go on sale till October, so we'll talk more about that when it goes on sale. But I'm excited to be still so reading, reading it. It's sexy. Like, no, really sexy. Like... Blushing on the subway, sexy. <laughs> I'll, get I'll get in it. What are you um, reading, Aubrey? I am um, tapping into the nerdness and reading Guy in Real Life, which is also one of our new releases this week. Steve Bresnoff. Steve Bresnoff. It's a contemporary love story um, about two. Both of them are their own different kinds of nerd. She is a um, LARPer, live action role play. So like Dungeons and Dragons. Yes, which totally would be my thing, I think, would be, I would be so into it if I had the time. And then he is into like video game, World of Warcraft, Lesh. That's his name, Lesh. Lesh. And her name is Svetlana. I love the names. Um, it's in, it's in a dual perspective. Um, it's a good fun times. I like it. And they fall for each other, and well, things happen. He start. He creates her character in his world and plays as as Svetlana. Her, as Svetlana, but she doesn't know. She doesn't know. So we so, won't tell you what happens because we don't want to spoil anything. But I mean, that would be so weird if you were dating somebody, but also then made a fake like, online personality yeah, that I was mean, them. That'd be like if I started an Aubrey Twitter handle and I just, like, tweeted things. It's really good. It Twitter just got handle. a um, starred review on Kirkus. So it's not that, it's Hats not like, off. it's not the light and fluffy. It's definitely brings up some big themes. I have to undress it. I love undressing books. Oh. Um, what are you guys reading? Kayla says, ooh, I really want to read Guy in Real Life. Uh, um, yeah, let's check in here and see what Lynn reading. Ricky is reading Panic by Lauren Oliver. Good choice. The thing I like about Guy in Real Life is that it's like, if you do the first letters, it's girl. G-I-R-L. Girl oh, equals a guy in real life. <laughs> oh, that's really cl I didn't get that until <laughs> just this moment. Um, Kelsey is reading City of Glass. Chameleon on YouTube is reading Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children. Nice. That's a good one. 
Um, by the way, I have just been corrected. LARPing is not Dungeons & Dragons. That's a tabletop game. And I believe it's tabletop games that she plays in this. I don't think she war LARPs. She LARPs them. Does she? Um, <laughs> I'm checking all this. I'm checking. <laughs> I, I read the book. My lame I, I haven't read it yet, so is I do LARP, not know. Is LARPing. Um... Anywho, what else is everybody reading? Ashley Norris just finished Don't Call Me Baby. Not sure what I'm going to start next. Maybe Art of Laney. Oh, another That's paperback. Good that was our good summer read last week. Mad Hatter Cheers on YouTube says, Dorothy Must Die. I'm halfway done, and so far it's amazing. Isn't that yes. book fun? So fun. I love that book. Um, okay, so also new this week is... Where's the YouTube? Oh, there we go. Is Meridian... What up? By Joe's and McQueen, which is the sequel to, to Arclight. Look how fun these covers are. Yeah. They're so shiny. Um, this one, I read Arclight. I haven't do like gotten into Meridian yet, but Arclight was one of, like, had one of the scariest openings of any YA book that I've read in a long time. Like, the first 50 pages will terrify you, and do not read them at night. Like, in the, the whole dark. Thing, it's in the dark. Yeah, the whole <laughs> book is set in, like, a, a world where, like, Basically, there's just no lights anywhere except for there's this one light that shines like a dome over this city. And if you go outside of the light and into the dark, you're going to get eaten by these, like, vampire zombie monster things. Um, and sometimes they break into the city, like, if the lights fail. When they have to change the light bulb out, it's like, oh, God. <laughs> so no, this is no the season. Thank you. <laughs> um, um, the covers are pretty cool. They are very fun. This one's shiny. shiny. There's nothing on the inside of this one. But I'm hoping that because this one's all dark and it, you know, the world's all black, and this one's white, I wonder if this means that, like, you know, the lights, things are looking up. <laughs> Read it and find out. Um, that's that. That's it. <laughs> okay. So what else? That's our, this week. our minds are discombobbled. If you were following us on Twitter, um, you know that we were. We shared some things I learned in YA videos, and we shot our next one because oh, thank yeah. you, you guys like them. So we're going to do more. That's Yesterday we went. Happen. We went into the wilderness to learn how to survive. Yeah, and then today we have to be BEA. So our brains <laughs> are a little fried. Are all over. We've the been place. fried basically ever since we moved because it's two things are discombobulated. It's jarring. We're in a weird space. But look, they started putting quotes all over the walls. What's that? <laughs> this one is from the Giving Tree. Read it to me. Oh. Once there was a tree, and she loved a little boy. It's one of my favorites. A tree liked a human? It's been a long time since I've been a child. Oh, you don't know the giving tree? It's I been a long time since I've read it! Through my hot I've read it. Of course I've read it. I just, it's been, you know, like, how many, how old am I? Oh, God, <laughs> no, that's a, that book transcends age. Um, but speaking of BEA, the HarperCollins booth, come visit, go See all the things at the HarperCollins yeah. booth. There will be giveaways and activities uh, and things. stuff. We're at a booth number 2038 yes. and 2039. And if you want to meet us, we will be there on Friday between 12 and 1. In between our two panels. I have a panel at 11 o'clock. Margot has a panel at 2 o'clock. Yep. So look at that. You could just make it all epic reads all the time. Pretty much. Come stalk this. Yeah. But not really. But yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then we will also be we're have we have a booth at or not a booth, a table at BookCon on Saturday. Twenty eight it's like at the same HarperCollins thing, so it's at a twenty eight sixty four through sixty eight. So um, I will be there on Saturday, so come say hi. We're gonna be giving some things away. We've got book shimmy totes, we have a cool Epic Reads poster that Woo! has not been debuted anywhere. Uh, um, I've seen it. Which is a good one. It's very colorful. So come say hi and see what's happening. Um, in addition to all the people that can't make it to BEA, we will be making a video. Um, and we have enlisted the help of a well-known YouTube person. Um, she has done tons of fun things. And she's here today. Yeah. So, everybody. Tea time. Tea time. This, this is Stacy. Oh, oh, oh we it. even practiced the role and everything. We did practice this. Hi. Because we're super high tech. 
We we're, practiced we're good. chair rollins. <laughs> Hi guys. Hi. So I didn't I didn't bring tea. Okay. That's okay. But I brought something. What did you bring? What did you bring? They are apricot green tea gummy pandas. pandas. Look at that. Ooh, oh, see, you're see, they're not my even, favorite. They're like food. more specific than a gummy bear. It's like a gummy panda. Can I open it? And yes, you it? can. And the story behind this is I went and did interviews for uh, a movie came out called The Host. Yes. And Saoirse Ronan was Stephanie eating Meyer. all of these. It's a Stephanie Meyer yeah. book. And um, she was eating them, and I've always wanted to find them, and my hotel mini bar had them. What? Whoa. That's pretty cool. They're good, That's right? So, so you. So tell us a little bit about yourself. Tell yeah. all of the epic reads and the crumpets out there watching. And I'm Are sure they you crumpets? because they're crumpets. Called crumpets. It's so cute. Stacy has her own fan base all over the YouTube. They're called Potato Flakes. Oh yeah. well, hello, Potato Flakes that are watching. Hello, Potato, Potato Flakes. Flakes. Meet the crumpets. Crumpets. Potato Flakes. Oh. Be friends. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah, I have a YouTube channel where I play a lot of Minecraft. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> it is a open world game where you can basically tell a lot of stories. And the stories that I usually tell involve me um, accidentally killing a lot of animals. <laughs> so I'm not the best at Minecraft. But before that, I ran a bunch of teen websites uh, and kind of... You got to do lots of fun things. With you she went to the set of The Fault in Our Stars. Mm -hmm. She went to <laughs> all the Divergent press conference things. You Blue Crush 2. <laughs> she told us it, which yeah. is like my most favorite thing ever. But actually, it was Harper Teen that sent me a, an early copy of Divergent oh. back in the day. So it was you guys See, that hooked it up. The, it's a good thing, man. Yeah. Um, so she's going to be um, hanging around BEA with us and helping us make fun YouTube videos. She is like a YouTube... Would you say you're a YouTube celebrity? I would not. No? I would not say that. I think that that is a strong, strong term. term. It yeah. is strong. But I do work, I work with a lot of YouTube celebrities. Uh, Sabrina Handel on YouTube says, I'm a crumpet flake. So Ooh. there you go. If you like Tea Time and Stacy, you are now a crumpet flake. I like that when you made flake. that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or Bella Coscal on YouTube says, we are potato, potato crumpets. Oh, those sound that's good. That sounds delicious. really tasty. That sounds okay. I'll eat those. Potato crumpets. I like it. Um, that, oh, okay. Automatically, we're getting a lot of questions for Stacy. Oh, all right. Aww. Are you up for taking a question or two? Sure. Josh, uh, Josh at Useless Midget says, Stacy, what made you become a YouTuber and start gaming? Well, that's a funny story. I basically uh, ran a website called Teen.com. And I worked with a bunch of YouTubers. One of them was named Joey Graceffa. And I started playing video games with him because I knew Minecraft was popular. Yeah. And people liked what, what they you? saw. <laughs> <laughs> and you're like, they didn't hate me. <laughs> so I started posting Minecraft videos, and that's now what I do, which is kind of nuts. And you're a, you are a YA fan. I'm a huge YA fan, what yeah. Is, what is your favorite YA book? It's a spot to put in. I did it. What the? My favorite, like, of all time? Currently. Your current favorite. Oh, my current favorite. Right. Well, I mean, my... What was the last good one you read? The one that sticks in your mind. Okay, so, I mean, I'm a little behind because I've been playing so much Minecraft. But I just barely, I'm in, like, the home stretch of Allegiant. I'm really okay. behind. Well, but I already, I already got the spoiler. It's oh, a tough okay. home stretch. I already got the spoiler. But actually, when you were talking about uh, reading a scary book, I yeah. might check out that book. There you go. Because, and actually, I think I got sent this. I just didn't read it. Um, oh, come on. But I have, a, I have a scary story. When I first read The Hunger Games, I was going on a camping trip all yeah. by myself, just me and my dog. <laughs> And I asked my mom, like, what is a book that I should read when I'm camping on this, like, solo camping trip that I was going on. And she, and she, told, me to read the Hunger Hunger Games? she told me to read The Hunger Games. And you're like, oh, no, Tracker Jackers are and everywhere. This was, I mean, this was before <laughs> it really picked up steam and people knew what it was. And so I was alone in a tent <laughs> in the middle of the night reading this book that, like, every time a twig snaps, Peter, it means someone's me. coming to kill you. Peter, you just started Peter. hearing, like, phantom cannons. And, and my dog <laughs> fell asleep. She just fell asleep. And so I just stayed up all night reading it and then packed up and went home. Oh, my gosh. So I have a question. Since you're a gamer and a reader, how do you decide between... Because I feel like a lot of our viewers also love to play video games, and it's like trying to, you know, allot your time. What am I going to do? Am I going to spend like a half an hour playing video games and like a half an hour reading? But usually you end up like sitting down and reading for like eight hours. So how do you decide like 
reading time versus video game time? It's tough. Like, the key is vacations, because when you go on <laughs> vacations, you can't play video games. That's true. And so, like, if you go on a cruise when there's no internet, you can read okay. and get a lot of reading done. Okay. Um, I actually, I don't know if we should stock you up for a lot of books on the travel back. Stock yeah, me sure. up. This this might get me in trouble, but I recently downloaded an audio book. No, it doesn't. I just listened to my first audio book. You did you? On my, I did a road trip from Ohio to New York, and we listened to The Raven Boys. Ooh. See, I did I did Allegiant as an audio book this time. Oh, yeah. I had to drive from Los Angeles to Utah, which is 12 hours. That's so hefty. And That's a it's trip. good... Um, except like I, I don't know. It's just weird hearing their voices because yeah. I had my own voices from right. the Virgin. Of course, yes, of course. Um, and so the person who says the audiobook is like really into the way she says Tobias. It's like <laughs> Tobias. There's like an inflection question. to it. She's in love with to Kyle James uh, on YouTube has a question. Stacey, what books are you going to be reading this summer? Do you have your summer reading list put together yet? My summer reading list. I mean, it's I'm so behind. Like I'm starting. Um, I'm starting the fifth wave. Oh, so no. good. I haven't read that. So my intro treats. Mm -hmm. Aliens. It's so I good. It's intense. It's intense. Um, I just downloaded a book called The Big Tiny. Um, oh, that's familiar. It's this woman it's who Googling. built like a teeny tiny house. Yeah. Um, oh. I'm really into small oh, space like, architecture. Yeah. yeah. I'm a nerd. No, that's a, well, that's a legitimate to, thing. It's an architecture book. I just talked about how I downloaded an architecture book. Well, I was about to get really nerdy and talk about how I saw a great Sunday morning with Charles Osgood episode yes. on design. And they I did love a whole Sunday episode. morning on CBS. Yes, yes. I have no idea what they're it's talking so about. It's so good. But they did a whole episode on design, and there was a whole segment on a woman who um, makes tiny houses. They're really, really affordable. Yes. And if you can live in a tiny place, like you can have Do your it. own house. Do it. Easily. <laughs> Uh, so we're going to have to get our your full summer reading list, and we'll have to post it on the yeah. Epic Reads blog. Yes. Oh, but yeah. in the meantime, and what we wanted to ask all of you watching are, what are some of, in honor of the release of Guy in Real Life, or what are some of your favorite video games? Uh, Aubrey? <laughs> <laughs> You're, like, going to me, and I'm, like, the Only least... Only because you made a little, like, sound. <laughs> I'm the least video gamer ever, like, in life. I just don't... Um, That's it. all right. I do Come on. boom blocks on Wii. There you go. I guess you just flick at things. <laughs> you flick at things. Okay. I like. I really don't like. No judgment. Is not no judgment. That that I <laughs> definitely no judgment. Or I don't know. It's just not me. I would be a larper. Would you? Oh yeah. Really? Yeah. Like if you know how like if you talk about like what would your the biggest version of your nerd self like if you went full nerd. Okay. I would be all up in the Renaissance Festival of Marvin. <laughs> That's what I would really? do. Really? Yeah. I'm a theater She's a theater nerd. kid. Mm -hmm. I mean, I liked it too, but I mean, it goes back to my my hatred of all things medieval. Yes, we talked about this. <laughs> yes. mm -hmm. Fun fact: Stacy hates medieval times. Into medieval times. She can't go to the Game place. of Thrones. She can't go to Game of Thrones. It's a dark place for me. Bell Books on YouTube says Skyrim and Super Mario Sunshine Ooh. is are her favorite games. I also, my best friend is trying to get me to play. Super Mario Galaxy? Um, I like stayed for 48 hours to beat that like game when it that? first came out. Uh -uh. Oh, God. Apparently the kids are... Oh, oh my God. When it first came <laughs> out on the Wii a couple of years ago, when I was in college, and my friend Manuel and I, we just like literally stayed up for 48 hours straight, and we were like, we have to play this game, and like we have to beat it immediately. <laughs> I was with her wedding dress shopping, and she looked down. She was trying them on. Who, me? No. My friend who was obsessed with oh, whatever, and she like, was in her wedding gown trying on. This should be a really great thing, and she got a text from her boyfriend, her fiancé, who had gotten to the next level, and she was so pissed <laughs> that he had done it without her. That's funny. Uh, the only Nintendo, I mean, I played Nintendo a long time ago. Classic. I haven't played a lot of yeah. recent Nintendo. Classic Nintendo, Duck Hunt, and, like, the first Super Mario Brothers are just amazing and will always be the best. I got really into, when I was in college, I downloaded the ROM and the emulator for Super Mario Brothers 3, the one where he gets, like, the tail and he can fly. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And I would sit in the back of class, and I, like, memorized all the keystroke patterns, so, like, in the timing, so I could beat the game in 15 minutes, because <laughs> there's, like, ways you can jump the world. But wow. I hope my parents are watching this and are like, we paid you to... For you to go to college, and I learned. Oh come on! Now I know what college is. But that was so. That was yeah. I got a little too. I had to like delete it and 
like wean myself off of that. I had some serious addiction problems. Um, one. <laughs> Kelsey Marie says our favorite video game is The Last of Us. Oh, oh I want to game play is so that. Much. Like, but I don't so have a PlayStation. I think it's for PlayStation. Okay. Yeah. Readers who aren't video gamers, if you love post-apocalyptic books like The Fifth Wave, like In the End, um, Divergent, any of the post-apocalyptic stuff, The Last of Us is like the best game for that. If you are a fan of that genre, or like book. The Walking Dead, and like vice versa, yeah, The Walking Dead. If you like playing that game, you should definitely check out some like post-apocalyptic YA fiction because it's very, very similar. But um, the best part about that is that they travel from like Boston to Cincinnati. That's where I'm from. <laughs> so I was like, oh, look, there's Cincinnati in the video game. That's pretty cool. <laughs> um, Stacey, what is your favorite? My Minecraft. favorite video game? Or Minecraft? Minecraft. Is, is that a video game? Yeah. 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 Yes. See, I don't even know what that means. <laughs> yeah, my favorite get video game would have to be Minecraft. The potato flakes are going to be like, I can't be a crumpet. because No, be crumpet flake power. <laughs> crumpet flake power. <laughs> potato, uh, crumpet. Potato, potato crumpet. Potato <laughs> crumpet. Um, yeah, it would have to be my favorite video game is Minecraft. I actually just, this is like a little, a little, uh, it's not like a scoop, I don't really know why I said that. It's like, I just, I bought an Xbox. Oh, oh. I mean, I just asked Merp at Kirby Derby Die? Just said, Stacey, do you play Xbox? Xbox? I am going to start playing Minecraft on the Xbox, which is, a, it the might news. be... A little controversial to some people, oh. uh, but I really I, I like that you can play with other people a lot easier than like setting up a server on the on the computer. So I'm gonna play both. Okay, both versions, but that's definitely my favorite video game. But as a kid, I loved the Super Nintendo game called Yoshi's Island. Oh, I really? Did. Yes. Really? <laughs> it was the best because it was like it had beautiful graphics. Yes, and it, was it just good. was so pretty. Um, I love Lars. <laughs> Margo, what is yours? Um, okay, so I would probably have to go with just by sheer will from when I was a kid is Sonic the Hedgehog because I didn't have oh, Sega, yeah. but my friend always got the systems before everybody else because her parents were super cool and my parents were like, uh, no. So I used to sneak, break into their house when they were gone to play Sonic the Hedgehog. So, so it's I was like a little treat. It was like a little dangerous treat. Yeah, I was like, <laughs> I don't even know how old I was, but I was like, well before like ten years old, breaking in. I mean, my neighbors, my neighbors had a Sega as well, but I just knocked on the front door. <laughs> that's what I did. Well, wow. <laughs> I, I didn't. That's probably. I didn't commit a crime. <laughs> I don't think I was aware that I was really committing a crime. I think I was just like. They're, the house is open. I can go play with as many people. It was the 90s. Times <laughs> Different times. Simpler. Here's the thing what I find fascinating about video games, because for me, I don't feel like I have the attention span for them. Like I'm like You have to find the right one, you know, because there's so many different types of video games out there. Like I tried getting really getting into Street Fighter and I was into it for like maybe a week. And then I was like, okay, I'm bored. The <laughs> it's not a video game, it's a mobile game. The uh, space team. Oh, she introduced me to Space oh, Team. I, I, I play a lot of too. iPhone games. I play, um, there's one called Dumb Ways to Die. That's <laughs> I'm just intrigued. Like, it's based off of the viral video, yeah, but yeah. I'm really good at it. It's just not dying. Yeah. Uh, there's another one called Raccoon Rising, where you're this cute little raccoon that just <laughs> has to jump to different places. The thing I wish they would do is, with YA books, they, there's a lot of like YA to movies or TV adaptations, but there are no YA to video game adaptations. There, there were a couple. There was one for Mortal Instruments, but it was kind of weird. Yeah. And there's been like some Harry Potter ones like for the GameCube back in the day, but I sort of feel like there's so many great YA books that would just be ripe for I think I did see um, Sasha, who is a... Um, Booktuber did a Dark Days roundup, mm -hmm. and there was a question. It was like, how would you like to see your books adapt, like adapted? Adapted, and they were all the options. I think Kimberly Durding said she would like to see um, her like ghost series. So my question for the community like, is, um, what what YA books do you guys want to see adapted as video games? Divergent. Where's our Divergent video, video game? game? That would be pretty cool. Like you could have Capture the Flag. Yeah, yeah. that would be cool. Like on the Ferris, you could have to climb to the top of the Ferris wheel. Like, I think I would, yeah. Jump off, there, I'll jump off the. There's, you, it's. Gosh. I think the End Games by T. Mike Martin would be the perfect zombie video. The game. first one that's popping into my head is um, In the After mm. by Dimitri Lunetta. Mm -hmm. Like Annie just Hines. 
like the different kind of like she has a compound, but then has to like kind of go out and forage. It sure would be like The Last of Us. It, that would be a yeah. really good one. Ashfall by Mike Mullen would also be a good one because he's to like trek after like the super volcano explodes. And he has to like go across the it's country, a, or I, my mind just keeps going straight to the survival ones. Yeah. But there's a lot of like good space stories that would be good, good video games. Like Avalon by Mindy Arnett would be a fun one. Yeah. Um, across the Universe by Beth Revis would be a fun video game. Her book went to space, I think. Um, Vivian says Uncharted was such a fun game series as well. Is that a I don't think so, no. but it, there may be, like, the book version. I think that happens sometimes, is, like, the video games get really popular, and then they do, like, supplemental books with them. Um, Stacy, what YA book do you want to see besides Divergent? As a game? Yeah. I feel like Divergent's such a... Duh. Like I want to see Divergent as everything. <laughs> reboot! Oh, uh, Mitchie Ooh, Milner on YouTube one. says Reboot. Here's the thing. I Sinatra. always... I always thought that there should have been a Hunger Games video game for Xbox Connect, where oh, okay. you're actually like battling rock each other into the arena, yeah. and you have to actually run and like, yeah. jump. And that would be a lot of exercise. I don't want to do. I think um, like the Girl of Fire and Thorns or Aragon would be very good, like as a Skyrim type of game. Aragon would be good. Yeah, Aragon. I want to see one. the Girl of Fire and Thorns, but. Um, like the old school games, like the Oregon Trail. <laughs> <laughs> that, that would be awesome. So good. <laughs> oh, you got cotton quicksand. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, Stacy is going to be coming with us to uh, on our BDA adventures. Um, so, which begin now? Which now. begin now? We have to leave now for our BDA. Parties, our parties that we're throwing. So um, tea time is short today. It, we will not be here. We're not going to be here next week. Right? No. No. The following week, we will be, be back. Here. We will be back. We will be back. We will miss you dearly. You can visit epicreads.com. There's a little banner over on the right hand side to see when the next tea time is. So. Um, and also stay tuned to our YouTube channel. Make sure you subscribe. Yeah. We, we some may, more videos. We week. may or may not have fun videos tomorrow. We had a dance Maybe. party <laughs> like like tomorrow. We had a dance party video that went up yesterday. Yeah, we yes, danced so. with Ver Veronica. That was fun. It was fun. Yeah, um, if you're a potato flake, I want you to subscribe right now. Oh, become a potato crumpet. Become a potato crumpet. <laughs> <laughs> right now. Do it right now. <laughs> so tea time, Wednesdays at 3.45. We will see you guys in two weeks. Thanks for joining us. And go check out Stacy. Tech check. What's your What's Stacey's, your YouTube channel? Stacy um, plays. plays. Stacy plays. plays. And you're on Twitter right. at Stacy says. Yes. Follow me on Twitter. So Whoa. we will see you guys in two weeks. Or BEA. Come say hi. 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 Don't be shy. Yeah, we just keep waving. This. Uh, we don't know how to say bye. We don't know how to say bye. So we just sit here and do we, this. It's hard. Oh wait, we have to do our weekly derp face, and you're doing it with oh, us, Stacy. Yeah. So, Wait! No! Yep, yep. Ready? Ready? Okay, ready? It's gonna happen. Get your screenshot okay. fingers ready. So, what guys. is our topic? BEA, it, it's BEA exhaustion is your dirt. Okay. Face. Think about how exhausted you're gonna be after BEA. Okay. Okay, ready? Ready? One, two, two three. three. And scene. <laughs> Stacey looked cute. I saw I'm it. sure, sure she did. Was I supposed to not? Yes! It's a dirt face, Stacey. It's a dirt face. <laughs> All right, we will see you guys soon. Bye! Bye. <laughs>